Today, I'm gonna to be reviewing this Rainbow Rainmate air purifier. Now, unlike most of the air purifiers we review here at HouseFresh, this uses water to filter the air. Now, most of these devices are given as gifts in exchange for an in-house home sales demonstration for a $4,000 water-based vacuum cleaner. If you don't want to watch my full review, here are the three things that I like about this unit and the four things I don't. Firstly, it's a small device, so it's easy to have in any type of room. It uses water instead of filters, so there's very little long-term running costs. And it also doesn't use up too much energy, very small amounts in our test. Now, what I don't like, well, when we tested this air purifier in the same room where we test all of our air purifiers, even after two hours and 52 minutes, it still hadn't successfully cleaned our room. It's also louder than the Lavoit Core 300 at 55.6 decibels, so it's not even quiet. And I really don't like that it's given away as part of an in-house home sales demonstration. It feels icky and it feels like there's not much value given to this device as it's just seen as like a giveaway. And finally, I don't like that it's sold as an air purifier. At best, it's a humidifier, but it's so poor at removing particles from the air that I really don't think it can be called an air purifier. Well, let's get on to my full review. Well, onto the design of the device, I don't know what to say really. I suppose to some people it could be aesthetically pleasing, but for me personally, it's not something I'm gonna take out to show my friends and family. Um, control panel is really simple. So we have a rocker switch at the top with two options, one with the lights, off, and then without the lights. So, you know, I, it's definitely a simple device to use. Now, as part of our reviews and to identify new and upcoming air purifiers, we always like to check with the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers because they always publish their third-party lab KDOS scores. Now, I went on to look for this device, the Rainbow Rainmate, and wasn't able to find a KDAR lab report, but I was able to find the KDAR lab report for its bigger, more expensive brother, the, the vacuum cleaner and I was a little disappointed with the score, so I'm, I'm just gonna read some of them out. So for tobacco smoke, it was 74 CFM, for dust, 87 CFM, and for pollen, 150 CFM. Now, if you don't know much about air purifiers, those numbers might seem okay, but just to give you a comparison, the $99 Lavoit Core 300, been out five years, very popular unit, this had a KDAR of 141 CFM for dust. So the Lavoit Core 300 has nearly the double the level of air cleaning power of the $4,000 version of this. So I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit concerned if the big version has such poor air cleaning performance and then this is the device they give away for free. So who knows what we're gonna see in the in-house performance test. Now the big selling point of this air purifier is that it doesn't use mechanical filters, so no HEPA or no activated charcoal. Instead, it uses water, so once the water becomes dirty, you just clean the device, change the water, and you're ready to go. So no extra cost to replace the filters, which are certainly one of the highest running costs when using an air purifier. Now, I'll be honest, I was a little bit wary when I heard about this technology because I assumed that if it was so effective that everyone would be using it. Now, Rexair, who has the patent on this technology that uses water to clean the air, that patent expired and so now you can find generic units that look a bit like this on Amazon for around $45 but none of the big air purifier brands have used this top technology even though they could at no extra cost. Let's get on to the big thing, the real world performance data. Now because there's no reported KDAR from the manufacturer or no KDAR from any third party labs, we're relying on our in-house performance data to find out how effective this device can clean your air. We tested this Rainbow Rainmate air purifier in the same room that we've tested over 60 different air purifiers. This allows us to compare units doing the same job in the same location. Now the first thing we do is we light an incense stick to generate particular pollutants in the air. Then, we track the levels of PM1, PM2.5, and PM10 using this Purple Air indoor sensor. This is one of the best laser sensors on the market. And we also have the optional Bosch gas sensor for tracking the levels of VOCs. 
Once our room is full of particulates, we switch the Rainbow Rainmate onto its highest fan speed and we track how long it takes to remove all the PM1. Now here's the bad news. After two hours and 53 minutes, our room still had lots of PM1 particles. It had failed completely to remove all of these particles. Now bear in mind, this is not a large room and the amount of particulates from an incense smoke is fairly small. So it's hard to say that this did anything useful in our test. So even when we compare to a small unit, this is the Lavoit Core Mini, which is you can avoid, uh, find for less than $50. This still cleaned all the PM1 in one hour and 53 minutes. Even the fairly cheap Lavoit Core 200S did it in 66 minutes. And our top performing budget device currently, the Titronix AP003, did the same job, removed all PM1 in 29 minutes. So based on this data, it's hard to say, but I don't think this water filter technology is good enough to be used as an air purifier. Sound is another important thing to consider when buying an air purifier. If a device is too loud, you're unlikely to use it. Now, in some of the marketing materials I've seen for these devices, it mentioned things like very low levels of sound, 10 decibels was thrown around. But we never trust manufacturers' data here at House Fresh, so we used our trusty sound meter from three feet away, and it was a little disappointing. It made the max sound of 55.6 decibels. When we compare that to the $99 Lavoit Core 300, which doesn't go over 50 decibels, it's hard to say that this is a quiet device. Now, it does use a different type of technology, so the sound is a little different than hearing a fan, so feel free to have a listen to hear for yourself what it sounds like. Now, with most air purifiers, you're looking at long-term running costs, which include replacing the filters every six to 12 months, and also the energy costs associated with running it. Now, when it comes to this technology, there's no filters to change, so there's no filter cost to consider, which on paper is great. When we come to energy costs, we tracked how much energy was used at its highest fan speed, and it did really well. It only pulled around 11.3 watts at its highest speed, which equates to around $11.56 added to your electricity bill. Right, so should you get this unit? Well, based on our in-house performance data, at cleaning the pollutants in our test room, it has to be a resounding no. It wasn't able to deal with even the very small amounts of pollutants from burning half an incense stick in a fairly small room, so I imagine in any other situation, such as dealing with cigarette smoke or odors in the home, it's unlikely to do anything meaningful. It concerns me because people with allergies, asthma, or any respiratory illness might buy this device or have it offered to them in exchange for a sales call, and they will find that it doesn't do anything to help them and they could get seriously worse. I truly believe that the Rexair, the company behind it, really need to stop presenting it as an air purifier. It isn't powerful enough to clean the air of particulates, so it shouldn't be called an air purifier. Now, I don't have any incentive to say anything negative about it. Believe me, if this was a unit that could clean the air with no filter costs, then I'd be the first one to push it ahead. But sadly, this offers a lot and on paper seems great, but in reality, it's just not gonna do anything. Now, we have written a full review that has all our performance data and more comparisons with other units that's available at our site, housefresh.com. You can find it by going to Google, searching for Rainbow Rainmate Air Purifier plus House Fresh, and you can have a look at all the extra information. Now, if you have one of these devices and you wanna tell me it's great or have any other questions about what I've talked about in today's video, just let me know in the comments below.